As the sun rises on Morro Bay, California, the day begins the same way it has for a century. The seagulls and pelicans come out, people start to appear, and the boats begin to cruise. And while the sunrise remains the same year after year, other aspects of the bay have been rapidly changing. Local commercial fishermen have felt these changes firsthand. I'm Wayne Moody, and I've been uh, fishing since 1974. Let you do the math, that's about 35 years. The prospects for the industry in the last few years have really gone down. And not because there's, we feel along the, the west coast that the stocks are in good shape, but it's the regulations that's killing us. Okay, there is some regulations that do help some fisheries, but there's some regulations that are absolutely an overzealous approach to remove fishermen from the ocean. The way we're regulated back in the 1970s, the Department of Fish and Game started regulating a lot of species of fish. And those fish have actually recovered. Most of the state-managed fish are in good shape. The problem was the federal government allowed excessive fishing and wouldn't listen to the fishermen when we started pointing out back in about 1980 that we felt they were taking too much of the ground fish stock. In 2007, we had 29 marine protected areas going here on the Central Coast. Marine protected areas affect 18% of California coastal water. About 7.5% of these zones are no-take zones, which means that a permit is needed for any type of fishing. The Rock Cod Conservation Act also has a great effect on what local fishermen can catch. We're impacted here by what they call the RCA, it's the Rock Cod Conservation Area. Uh, we are regulated on three species of fish in this area that don't even hardly live here. And so consequently, uh, federal government regulates us by the whole West Coast. They regulate, they, they, they consider Oregon and Washington and California all one lump sum, and so fish that we don't even catch here uh, are, are in the equation, and, and so they feel that they're overfished here, but they, they don't even live here. They live in Northern California. Yeah, rock cod conservation zones, uh, well, you know what they've done with the, the salmon industry, that's one. I fish salmon in albacore. Okay, so far the albacore stocks are in real good shape, and. That's all you have to do is buy a license to go fishing, and you can fish them. There's no season on them. Uh, it's just when they show up when you can catch them. The last two years, we haven't been able to fish salmon at all. Total, zero, zero. And this year, we get to go from Point Arena, which is just below Fort Bragg, south. We get to fish July 1st through the 4th, July 8th through the 11th, and that's it. Eight days, that's pretty good when you think, somebody thinks you can make a living in eight days. The sun sets on Morro Bay the same way it has for a century. Sunsets serve as an ending, but is the sun about to set on the local fishing industry? Our ocean here between Conception and Point Sur are probably healthier than they've been in 25 years. That's the reality. As of now, it may not be known whether the fishing industry will be able to recover, but one thing is for certain. The sunset on Morro Bay will never change. Katie Bruce, Journalism 303.